Hey everybody, it's Christina. Welcome back to Stampin' on Friday and welcome back to videos for 2014. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use these new tag uh, punches that are available in the Celebrate Every Day catalog. And I'm going to be using the both the angled and the scalloped um, to tag toppers. For these, what you do is you take a two inch piece of cardstock, I'm using some Whisper White, and you just put it into the little guide of the punch and punch out your end. So I'm going to do one in the angled tag and then two in the scalloped. And then after I get those punched, I'm going to take my paper trimmer and trim these down. For my angled tag, I'm going to be cutting this at three inches. And what I really like about these um, tags is you can make them as long as you want. You can even make bookmarkers out of these. For my first scalloped one, I'm gonna cut this at three and a half inches. And then my last one I'm going to be cutting at four inches, but later on I actually cut that down um, to three and a half because it was just a little too long for the project I was working on. Using the Wish Big or Big Wish stamp set, I'm going to be taking my Stampin' and Write markers. And for this one, um, for the bow, I'm using the old olive marker, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the brush tip to color in the bow. And then for the um, present part of the stamp set or the stamped image I'm going to be using pool party and I what I did with this one is I just kind of went back and forth and that created a nice little texture when I went ahead and stamped this out and then for my sentiment I'm using island indigo and I really like this sentiment it's called it says no time like the present I thought that was so cute to go with the little present image there so I'm going to go ahead and color in my sentiment and after I get that all colored in I'm just going to breathe on it to activate um, the uh, ink again so when I stamp it out it has a better uh, crisper image and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that down in the lower left hand corner of my tag which then I will take the smoky slate stamp and write marker and go ahead and do a faux stitched line going around the whole outside of this tag and I thought it set it off perfectly so once I have this all done I'm going to take some 1 8 inch taffeta old olive taffeta ribbon and some um, linen thread and what I did with the taffeta ribbon is I just kind of ran that through I didn't tie it in a knot I just ran it through the whole of the tag and then I'm using the linen thread to kind of tie that um, taffeta ribbon into place so I'm just taking the linen thread wrapping it around and then tying a little bow right at the top to keep that in place so once I have my bow tied I'm going to go ahead and trim off the edges of the bow, uh, the ends of the bow, and then also shorten up my tag. Um, I probably should have left a little longer, but I'll shorten that up too. So great little uh, tag to use on a birthday present. So my next tag I'm going to be doing with um, the scalloped tag punch, and I'm going to be using the stamp set Love You More. And the cute little bird image from this is just so adorable. So what I'm going to do is stamp this out after I have it put onto my acrylic block. Stamp it out with some real red ink. And I really like this. It's like a real good tr true red color. So I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper here and um, ink up my little bird stamp. And then stamp that out onto my tag. And I'm kind of stamping it off so it's going off the edge of my tag. And then once I have that stamped, I am going to go ahead and add some of the Smoky Slate um, uh, stamp and Write marker right around the outside to do the faux stitch line. And then I'm going to use a sentiment from the stamp set Love You to the Moon. And I love this little XO uh, going around like a heart shaped arrow. And I'm going to use that, uh, stamp that out and using some Smoky Slate ink. I'll stamp that down in the lower right hand corner right below my little bird holding the little Love uh, Valentine. And then the next thing here, I'm going to do the uh, the faux stitching on this as well with the Smoky Slate ink from the Stampin' Write marker. Once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the silver taffeta ribbon to the top of this. And for this one, I kind of looped it, pulled it through the hole, and then pulled the ends through to give it a different look instead of um, tying a bow or anything on it. And because I did this on a scallop top, that um, taffeta ribbon kind of slides a little bit. So I just rolled a glue dot and I'm going to stick that right onto the end of my scissors and kind of stick that underneath that section that's looped through to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't slide around. So once I have that glue dot stuck in there nicely, 
I'm going to take some extra of the silver ribbon and kind of wrap it around my fingers and do a double loop bow. So I just wrap it around so I know that I have two loops on each side and then kind of pinch it in the middle. And then I'll take another little extra piece of the silver ribbon and tie that around to actually create my bow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie that into a knot. And the hardest part about this is remembering which ones of the ends belong to your knot part that goes around the center and the one that belongs to the ribbon. So that was always uh, the confusing part for me. So I got that a little confused. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of play with this a little bit and get my loops so that they're even. And then once I fiddle with that a little bit more, I'll go ahead and um, take my scissors and cut off the ends to my bow. After that, I'm just gonna take some glue dots and I'll roll that as well and stick that onto the back of my bow and then add that right to the top of my tag right close to the little tag ribbon that I ran through the hole. So for my next, um, tag I'm going to be using the uh, Petite Petals bundle set and with this I'm stamping this out in the Smoky Slate, Pool Party, and Strawberry Slush and I'm just going to stamp that out onto some Whisper White cardstock and then once I have that uh, stamped out I'm going to use the coordinating punch and I love coordinating punches with stamp sets it makes it so much easier um, to die cut real quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch the three of those out. And I also went ahead and did the stitching around my tag for this as well. The um, Love You to the Moon stamp set is what I'm going to be using for my sentiment. And that sentiment says, hello, you are, oh, it says, hello, you're on my mind. And I stamped that out in Smoky Slate. And then I'm going to go ahead and start working with my petals. I'm just going to use, or actually, no, I'm going to tie my ribbon first. I'm going to use some pool party seam binding on the top of this and kind of tie it a little bit to the side. So I'm just running it through and tying a knot. And then I'll go ahead and tie my bow. And I really like the taffeta ribbon on the top of a tag. It kind of gives nice little added touch to it and kind of get balances out a little bit. So once I have that bow tied on there, I'm going to go ahead and do my petals to my stamped images I just did. So uh, actually, no, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out onto some Smoky Slate cardstock, which I did into a card base, and that measures two and, a, two and three quarter by four and a quarter. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my little uh, petals that I punched out and use my bone folder to kind of roll them and give them a little extra texture and a little dimension to my um, tag. And I thought this tag would be great to add right to a present or you could punch a hole in the top and tie that through um, and add it as a tag onto a gift bag or something like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and add some glue dots to the back of my petals. And in the finished pictures, you'll see that I added also some little uh, uh, rhinestones to the center of this. So those are my three tags for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, a list of supplies will be in the description below or over on my blog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>